Hi, my name is Willix, and this is Continuum, the new expert pack from the Feed the Beast team. Now, a lot of people have been bashing Feed the Beast for making this pack the way they did, but most of them haven't played the game yet. So, from what I've seen of the people that have played the game, there seems to be a lot more positive reviews than there does seem to be negative reviews. So, let's take a look at this and see what we think. So first off, I just spawned in here. I'm going to make a waypoint, and we'll call this spawn. If at all possible, I try to create my uh, base right at spawn when I can. All right, that's taken care of. Now the first thing we have to do for the quests is we've got we need 15, 16 wood. So we're bashing wood just like normal. Now all packs start this way, or most of them anyways. And once we get the 16 wood, we can, we'll earn a uh, stone uh, axe and some torches. Which is, actually, I, I think that's kind of uh, not overpowered by any means. A worthwhile reward. I think that part's good. So first quest reward, suitable. All right now, 15, we need one more. Fall this way when you fall. Don't go behind me. Uh, you would. There we go. We got our 16 wood. So we'll bring up our quests. And that's this one here. We get a stone axe and some torches. Claim that. Back. Okay. Now. I want to get ready for the first night. So now that we've got an axe, let's go find some sheeps. Where are the sheeps? Come here, little sheepies. That's sad, not sheep. Come on, spawn me some sheeps. Chickens, pigs, there's a the sheeps. What I did there was I jumped to kill him in one shot. Whoops, why can't I kill this chicken? Helps if I could actually aim. So it usually takes two swings and the sheep's running away from you. Why, why didn't it want to break? Spice a license in this, so this is some free food here. But I've only got wool so far. I need more. Come on, one more sheep. How do you get up there? Must be bees. Okay. Oh, another one. Okay, we got ourselves four wool. So that gets us a bed so we can sleep through the night and we don't have anything to fear over here then. 
In that case, let's get ourselves a little bit of extra wood. The flax just got us some string. We're going to need that today, too. Now, here's one of the uh, design decisions I don't agree with. They have gated vein miner or or excavator. And they've also made it so you get less planks from logs and less sticks from planks. I find that gating vein miner just annoying. I don't think that it adds more more challenge to the game. Well, I guess that's the wrong word for it. It's more annoying than it is challenging. And that's what I always liked about Project Ozone, was he went out of his way to get rid of the minor annoying parts, but still make the game more difficult and more challenging in a, fun, in a more fun way. Putting or Excavator later on in the pack, when you don't need it nearly as much, I find that just annoying. And it takes away from the fun of the pack. It doesn't add more fun to it. So I don't agree with that design decision. But they're not the only ones to be doing that these days. It seems to be a thing. And lots of other packs don't include uh, ore excavator or vein miner at all. So I guess I can't fault them too much. But if they're going to continue with that kind of de design decision. I haven't played very far into this game. So I don't know that much about it yet. But if they're going to continue with that vein, then I'm not going to be as impressed as I am with Project Ozone. But then very few people make a pack as good as Cazador Sniper does. All right. We got a little bit of wood, almost a stack. Okay, let's come over here now. Spawn was right there, so I am going to dig my way into the mountain here. Well, not mountain. Hill? Little hill. <laughs> not much of a hill. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to have it run. Where is the actual spawn point? Spawn point is there. So it's going to come outer wall there. And I'm going to come in three. That leaves me five in the middle, stuff on the walls. And then I'm going to chest here. And this is where I'm going to put my crafting. So we'll turn, see, only two wood two planks from wood and then put our crafting table right there now next thing up is we've got to make this stuff here we need an efab crafting grid well, that's easy enough. Then we, I'm going to place it right there. And this is their idea of crafting. I'm not impressed yet, but I'm early in the pack. I only tried a few minutes of it, so we'll see how it turns out from there. So the next thing we need to make on that is this thing here the armory upgrade. So we need to make a wooden ad to do that. That's why we needed so much wood and I ran off to do it. Oh, actually, let's place the bed before it gets dark. Hell with it. I'm not going to come up with the final place. I'm just going to put it down for now. Because I would want it to go right where that stuff is and I haven't made myself a pick yet. So... Let's just oh, make the bed. OK. 
Okay. So now for Ayat, we need some sticks. Oops. There we go. We need a pick, shovel, axe, that thing, and a sword. Okay, that's done. Oh, we need flint. We don't have that yet. We do have our string. We don't have our flint. Oh, it's dark. Okay, so now to get flint, we need to hit some gravel. Let's go find some gravel in the water here. Here's some over here. We need flint to make our tools. Stone tools don't work out. Wood tools only have like one durability or something. Actually, I think you get to hit two things with a wood tool. But seeing how wood is a pain to get, I'd rather just uh, hit it with my fist and take a little longer. It's take less time than uh, constantly making wooden tools. We do have the recipe where you can turn three gravel into flint, but breaking flint also gets you gravel. This would be easier if we met, turned around and made a shovel first, but should have done that up higher so I didn't have it so slow. Okay. Let's come over here. We'll make that. Press start. And some things take a while to make with this. I'm not sure what value this puts on it. Um, whether it makes it more fun or whatever for some people. I'm not seeing it so far. So, first one I want is a shovel. So we can go out and get more of this stuff. We are going to need more gravel and stuff. But, actually for now, let's just dig ourselves out a little bit bigger hole. three high ceiling and I want you to go two further I sh should probably be doing this off camera oh well I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna make this bigger later but I'm doing just this for now well, let's get ourselves a pick. So, Most of this stuff I'm going to do off camera, but for the just the first episode, I do a little bit of it on camera. And the bed's eventually going to go up against this wall over here. All right. I think I'm going to make my front out of stone, make it easier to see. Oh, 
Why'd I take? Whoops. Now we can get one more row up here. And we'll fill in the rest of this here with dirt. Oops, fell off. Glad I wasn't on a skyblock. Mind you, I would have been holding shift if I'd been on a skyblock. up here is this is all going to turn to grass and I'll put some animal traps up here. Uh, Pam's Harvest Crest animal traps. And then I'll be able to reach them from inside the, uh, the thing. Not doing that yet though. Alright. Uh, let's put up some of those torches before it's dark in here. Nothing can spawn in here anyways, but all the same. Actually, this needs to be... How's that doing, F7? Not that good. Uh, okay, that got rid of it. Okay. Now... Let's take a look at our quests again. So we've got that done. Oh, we've got that done. We just didn't uh, let it see it. That's done. But for this, we need iron. And that involves us running off down to wherever to get iron. So I'm going to get myself set up just a little bit better up here before I do that. So. Let's make ourselves a couple of chests. Put those down here. And I'll use this for food and crops and stuff. Not crafting things specifically. Uh, I'll put that in there for now. It doesn't go there. Deal with it later. Um, let's just make some food and get, so I don't forget completely. So now we've got some food if uh, the need arises. And how are we doing? We're okay. Whoops, I forgot. Yeah, I just find this annoying. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to it that I'm forgetting all the time, but I just find it annoying. I don't see how it adds any more fun or excitement to the game yet. I may change my mind. Actually, since it's right here, Did I get a ding sack out of that? No. Got calamari. No ding sack. All right. What was I doing? Oh, I did. I got two ding sacks. What am I saying? Cool. What 
was it in the process of doing? Oh yeah, I set that up so I could dump. Some of this other stuff in there. What used to be right here? I don't know. But I am going to make myself a hoe. All right. And we're going to deal with... Oh, did I have dirt? Oh, here it is. And since you are... I want to be able to go up these this easily. So that's sort of stairs so I don't have trouble getting up and down. So from here out, I'm going to level it. It's getting dark. Actually, I don't want to have, waste your time watching me level this. So I'm going to level it just a little bit. It'll only be a couple of minutes, and I'll be right back. So I leveled myself out a 9x9 nine nine area for farming. And we'll put down a worm there. 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 And I don't believe that water offers any benefit when you've got worms. I could be wrong about that. I know that they will grow without the water. I just don't know if they would grow faster if they had water as well. I should do some testing on that sometime. Or let me know in the comments. Okay, so we got a 9x9 nine nine area, and let's plant some crops. We've got flax. We've got rice. Got some wheat. I know I've got more stuff. We've got the barley. More seeds. More flax. Coffee. Okay, I guess we can get started with that. So I'm the most interested in flax. So let's put a row of flax in. Since we happen to have lots of barley, we'll put a row of barley in. I'm not excited about barley. I won't keep that forever. I'll replace it with something better later. But because we have lots of it, actually we still got nine barley. Let's do another nine. Then I only got one rice. Should have more than that. Wheat. And what else do we have? Coffee. Let's see if we can go find some of those little. Oh, I dropped a couple of pieces of dirt. Little gardens like this. That'll give us some seeds. Not going to spend a lot of time looking for them, but I'd like to show you me hitting at least one more. Oh, I failed. Oh, there's one. There's one. I see one. I see one. I see one. Okay. So what else did we get here? 
We've got some zucchini, some tomato, garlic, leek, and turnips. Not particularly excited about any of those. I'm not going to give them their own rows. I'm just going to plant some. I don't even know if tomatoes grow like that or whether you need something special to make them grow. Yeah, that's just going to be my assortment of whatever row. I want more flax, is what I want. Flax for string. Well, we'll let them do their thing. So now that that's set up, ready to go, let's get set for mining. To do that, we're going to need a bunch of picks. Oh, and we're also going to need... Do we have coal? Not much. So let's get some more coal. We've got lots of coal over here. Because for our next step, we need iron. We need at least 13 iron. I don't know of any way to double it at this point. So that means finding 13 iron ore. Uh, the quartz uh, grindstone is held behind other things. Uh, all the other ore doubling stuff is held behind other stuff. Actually, is the smeltery... I know that we don't have the quest yet. We're about to get it. But can we build a smeltery right away if we don't wait for the quest? Or is it gated? Well, this is definitely uh, not happy about lighting. I'll make that all look prettier again later. Uh, so how are we doing now for, yeah, lots. Thirty, will that do? No, probably not. Whoops. Ten more. That was more than enough. Okay. Mm. That could go down with plants. That's going to end up going with plants. Get rid of this other stuff here. Oops, food, stay with me. Spare torches can go in there. And rice can go there. Time to sleep. Now we'll do my trick that I normally do for going down deep. We'll knock. Whoops. Three down, drop down. This way you can't drop into lava rather than digging straight down. Actually, it's a little dark down here right now. Let's put drop in a torch. Whoops. I get used to the fact that it's just over there. And use my mouse wheel in reverse. I see some iron, I think. I'm just not getting the hang of that, so we're going to do it that way. I know, I could probably hold it in my hand and... You 
use right click or something. I guess I should do that. But let's take a look at how many we've got. We've got nine now. So this drop down are three. So we want to come down here. One, cool. Whoops. Here, I let myself drop one. That was uh, dangerous, but not that dangerous, I guess. Not up at this height. So down below that one. Because later on, I'll dig a shaft and drop down into water and just fall quickly that way. Oh, I know what I didn't do up there that I should have. I can use journey map because I messed up. How many? Oh, we've got enough iron. Okay, so we'll use journey map. There we go, we got back up that way. Another way to do it would be to set home. I should have got myself in the perfect spot rather than just wherever. So let's say we're over here, and then if we go home, it's just over here. Okay. All right. So now that we've got those, we are going to need Call a furnace. And we're going to put our furnace down. I left an extra spot there. I went one deeper than I thought it was going to. Okay. Oh, and we want coal. And we're going to deliberately make our coal into shiny car charcoal. And we're going to cook up all our iron. Save the extra up there. Okay, what else did that need? The gearbox. Wood. How are we for wood? We're running low. Let's make a new axe and. Where's all our gravel? I already used it all. That's right. We already used all the flint. Okay, um, no flint at all, eh? <sighs> I must have put the flint somewhere. I couldn't be out of flint already. The fact that I have to do it underwater and couldn't find gravel above is not the pack's fault. That just happened to be what I started with.
what was I looking to make right now? Shovel? Why was I looking to make a shovel? No, we were looking to make an axe. That's what we were looking to make. Because we were short wood. Right. Now I remember what I'm doing. Oops. You all knew what I was supposed to do. I didn't. All right, what time is it? Almost night time. And most of our stuff is growing already. Yeah, Fade Miner would have made this all so much more fun. But I know that's debatable. Some people think that you should have to work for it more. does to I've never figured out what to do with those beehives I think you can use the honey for something cooking or something all right Whoops. Why did it not want to? Did we get more flax seeds? Yes, we did. Plant them right away. Rice. No more rice seeds? Okay. Got a few more seeds. More coffee seeds. Hope that's the coffee that can make espresso. I don't care if I get more of those seeds or not. Okay, get rid of all our vegetable matter stuff. Okay, you're finished. We need one block. Oh, and we need we need wood for gears. We've got wood now. Now, I don't know where this thing is supposed to go. Could it go anywhere around it? I don't know whether it makes any difference. Okay, so that should be the quest done. Yes. Claim. Back. Now, I would normally be moving on to tinkerers, then a smeltery. But let's do the engineering workbench. Oh, workshop table.
So we're going to need andesite or something like that. Or some smooth stone. Or We got two andesite. What do you know? Yay! Okay, and we can put that over here, I guess. Now, the way this thing works is, how am I doing on wood? I'm not. It's night. See, this whole uh, quest for constantly needing to go gather more and more wood, I'm just finding that annoying. I'm not finding it challenging or exciting or anything. I want to get on to the more interesting parts. Oh, if you know of some automated way of doing wood right now, let me know. I know that uh, I could do Steve Carts or something, but that's a little further down the road yet. I don't think they've got anything like progressive automation, no really early wood. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know this pack that well. Let me know in the comments if there's some... Uh, automated way of doing uh, wood at this point in the game. Or what's the first time I can do some automated wood. After this episode I'll just have lots of wood when I come I'll collect it in between episodes. Where the hell did I just end up? Where is my spawn? Spawn is there. Okay. All right. So what we want to do is first off, again, let's make planks. Then we want to make ourselves one. Whoops, no, that's done down below. Damn it. That's why I just find this thing annoying. We need at least one, two of those. Actually, let's make three. Keep debating on how I want to do this, whether I want to do it with three chests and one crafting table or. Uh, two chests and two crafting tables. This works much the way um, Steve's workshop stuff did. So if we stick three of those in there, that in there, we went to upgrade to put them in. So now we got a crafting table down here and we got three chests we can draw from to put stuff in there. Now if we shift click in, we're going to get have it eat up some of our real wood. So I'd much rather give it some tiny coal or something. Let it deal with that. Now when I shift click wood in it'll just go in and it'll be fine. Otherwise it would all got eaten up down here. And that's to power it later on for other things. Alright, so where are we now in our Tinkerer's tables. Oh, that is not as standard as you might think, and I should have got started on it sooner. So how many of those... Uh, nine, I guess? See, this is where it takes time. So it's going to be doing its thing. Let's open up our uh, loot chest. We... eh. Is that the only one I've got? Shouldn't I have passed in more things? What else? Oh, this. Is there any way to queue it up to do more than one? Let me know in the comments if there is. Because if I've got to make a whole bunch of them, I don't want to have to keep wadding back over here and doing that over and over and over again. So 
So we need to take like that. Oh, and let's make another crafting table. Do that. See, I, I just find this annoying. I don't find anything particularly exciting about that. going to need more patterns later so where am I putting these uh, let's put this wherever it belongs maybe right about here then my tinkerer's tables can go along this wall over here. Oops. Where's... shovels. Yeah, I know. This isn't very exciting. Let's get on to some more interesting stuff. But I did need to clean it. Yeah, I got sidetracked there. Needed to clean out enough room for those. Now, I don't know whether it was a bug in the game or... These things weren't linking up as far as I could see. Uh, let's see if they link up, and if so, I'll place them differently. Yeah, there's no little tab over here. So that must be something else that uh, isn't in this pack. There we go. So that finished off another quest. Oh, that got me a bunch of, okay. I'll say that was a reasonable uh, reward for what I was doing. That worked out. They've they've got some good thought, I guess, into these rewards. Where did I get the lead? That must have been a reward for something, too. What's next? So I guess it's a smell tree, which involves me uh, going for a whole bunch of clay. I assume it's the same as usual, right? I should check. We need grout. Grout is clay. Sand and gravel. So we're going to need all of the above. All right, I'm going to do that off camera. I guess that's it for this episode. Let me know if you like this series, whether I should continue with it, or you don't give a damn. But hope you enjoyed it. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.